Hello and welcome to the Growth Podcasts. Here is your host, RJ. Hello and welcome back. It's great to be with you on the Goat Podcast once again. We've just completed one year of podcasting with over 70 episodes broadcasted. That is quite an accomplishment and I want to thank you for being with us on this journey. When we decided to start this podcast, we had one thing in mind and that was to add value to your lives and to those people out there during this COVID pandemic, hopefully that is coming to an end now. And today my topic is going to be how to find your real self again. You know, on the surface, it seems odd that you could actually be anything other than who you really are. From the time that we can talk and walk, we were programmed to fit in. We were sort of encouraged just to fit in, not to stand up. We find ourselves conforming in order to please the people that we love and those who love us. You know, they encourage us to conform to society and to their norms. But sometimes that means you have to suppress what you know is the real real person inside. And for most of us, that is the case. And yet, your relationship with yourself is the most important relationship you'll ever have. Therefore, I always encourage people, those around me, forgive yourself, be kind to yourself, love yourself, without a healthy relationship with yourself. It's practically impossible to have a healthy relationship with anyone else. The Growth Podcasts, broadcasting worldwide. To get all the free resources you need to grow your business, visit www.onlinegrowthchannel.com www.onlinegrowthchannel.com for 100% free resources. Do you want to grow your business? Do you need to get ahead of the competition? OGC Digital can help with that. We are the go-to experts for an all-in-one solution. Contact us today. Send an email to sales at ogcdigitalagency.com or visit our website at www.ogcdigitalagency.com. Be kind to yourself. Have a good relationship with yourself. If you're ready to get reacquainted with someone you haven't seen in a while, meaning yourself, start with the following four ideas to help you rediscover the real you. And you will be surprised. And when you apply these ideas and how you really can rediscover yourself. The first idea is quiet the noise in your head. You know those noises very well. The ones that's constantly nagging you to do this, to do that, to pick up the dry cleaning, pay the bills, to do the things to, that keeps others happy, keep your boss happy. You know that. Quiet those noises down in your head. Because with all that noise going on, it will be impossible for you to hear anything above this clamor. This must be your first step. How do you do that? Firstly, by setting up systems, simplifying and establishing enough extras in your life to allow you to operate from a position of abundance instead of lack. You are listening to the Growth Podcasts. Are you interested in doing an online tourism business course? Please visit tourismbusinessonline.com, tourismbusinessonline.com. Visit www.ogcvideoagency.com forward slash shop for professional logo and amazing social media advertising designs. www.ogcvideoagency.com forward slash shop. Secondly, the second idea in finding your real self once again is practice thinking about yourself 
in healthy ways. In order to do that, you must first believe that you are valuable and that your real self, the real you, has something to offer the world. Believe in yourself. Since you talk to yourself more than everyone else in your life combined, and that is a lot of talk, it's up to you to establish healthy communication in your thinking. We all always speak to ourselves. I'm quite sure you've experienced that. Now you must consciously listen to how you talk to yourself. Write down the unhealthy things you say and challenge them and replace them with facts. That is where things stop to go wrong. You know the self talk that we have, ah, you never do this right, you never do every, anything right, you're this, you're a poor mother, you're, <laughs> you know, you're not a good wife and this, right? Tell us a story and tell us, no, I made a mistake this time, I did this and that, but I did some good things then and whenever. Speak to yourself in a healthy way. The third idea is listen to your heart. And this is very important. It sounds easy enough, but by the time we are adults, most of us have stopped listening to our hearts and go only with our heads. So listen to your hearts. You know, those two must, the, the heart and the head, those two must reconnect in order to find your real self. It's easy to become accustomed to thinking about your feelings instead of really feeling them. Instead of asking yourself what you think about something, ask why it's important. You are listening to The Growth Podcasts. Visit www.ogcvideoagency.com for high-quality short videos to market your services or products on social media. www.ogcvideoagency.com The third idea I want to give to you in this podcast is be careful not to get hung up on a specific goal that you set. Because what you're really after is feeling it's like respect, love, appreciation, as opposed to, you know, the tangible things like I want a new house, new car, I want to travel, and this. Keep an open mind to the feelings and be willing to adjust the methods you use to achieve it. Don't get hung up on the goal. Focus on what you feel. Determine not just your goals, but how it satisfies who you really are. The mask will come off and your real self will come shining through. A person you know and love, that's you, is waiting for you to take the time to listen and understand and accept. When you accept your real self again, you'll make smarter choices. And those choices will stick because they actually fit who you are. Now that's what you're really looking for. Isn't it? That brings us to the end of this episode. Please like or follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel and podcast platforms. The Growth Podcasts is broadcasted once weekly, every Thursday at 3 p.m. Beijing time, GMT plus 8. Until next time, please stay safe and be blessed. Till we meet again.